can here and I'm going to give you a little exercise in mental modeling. I'm going to tell you a story and it's called A Hunter Went A Hunting. Why mental modeling actually works. So a hunter goes, gets up one morning and he goes hunting in the wilderness. The hunter travels four kilometers due south and takes a shot at a bear. But unfortunately he misses the bear, probably because he had his gun facing in the wrong direction. The hunter then travels two kilometers due east and there he saw another bear. He took a shot at the bear and this time he killed it. The hunter traveled four kilometers due north back to his campsite. What color was the bear? So from the instructions I gave you and a little bit of the story, can you tell me the color of the bear? Now as I told you the story, you were building a mental model, a mental picture as to what a hunter in the wilderness would look like and what a bear would look like, but you did not expect me to ask you or to, to ask you what the colour of the bear was. So if we listen to the instructions carefully, this is what I told you the instructions were. Go four kilometres due south, then two kilometres east, and then four kilometres due north back to his campsite. There's only one place on earth those instructions will actually work. That's because the camp had to have been on the North Pole. So the only place the instructions will work to be able to go four kilometers due south, two east, and then four due north again, is if the campsite for the hunter was on the North Pole. So what color was the bear? The bear had to be a polar bear, so it was a white bear. So your mind builds mental models that we can take advantage of in electrical physics. Here's the basic idea. Physical models we quite often use, and we call these analogies. They help us with abstraction in building mental models. And you can see here the little man holding a planetary model of an atom with electrons bouncing around the outside of it. And quite often people use that as a model, but it is an abstraction on what is there. It doesn't really exist, but we use it as a mental model. Another mental model we often use is mathematics. Mathematics itself is an abstraction. It's an abstractive model, and it can be used to, be re to represent the other abstraction or other abstractions, in this particular case, electrotechnology. So the basic idea is that yes we build mental models, we can use those mental models, physical models and analogies. Often um, in DC we use the water flow analogy. It helps with the abstraction, helps build mental models, but in the end we have to build our own and on along the way we're going to use some mathematical models to handle the abstraction and of course that's just using a one abstraction to handle another abstraction. Again, another reason why it's actually difficult to learn about electrical physics. But unless we're prepared to build mental models and engage the physics itself, we're going to have some great difficulty learning about electrotechnology. I hope you enjoyed the story about the hunter who went a hunting and the bear that was white.